What's up, Firebot fans? I am that Pi Guy. I'm a partner streamer on Mixer.com. Recently, I've been hearing and seeing a lot of questions about how can you create a Firebot soundboard that allows the streamer or moderators to push a button and disable the viewer soundboard. Well, it's pretty simple. I'm assuming you already have a basic understanding of Firebot. Um, and if that's not the case, there are a bunch of tutorials on the Firebot website uh, as well as YouTube. So you can definitely go check that out. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how to create the mod board. So uh, first thing you wanna do is enter the dev lab. So if you log into Mixer on the top right, you go to your profile, come down to the bottom, you'll see dev lab. So if you click on that, it'll bring you over here. Now I already have a project created. So for this purpose, I'm gonna create a new one. Just come up here to the plus sign, create a new project. We are gonna name it Firebot Mod Board Tutorial. Click save. Now you may see this blue spinning disc. Um, and if you leave it, it may just stay there forever. So what you need to do is just over here on the side, just click off. That will take effect. Come down, click save, just to make sure it takes effect. Then come over to build. So you'll notice on the left, you have a default. So that's gonna be the, the default board that your viewers see. Um, so you wanna create your soundboard as normal. Um, so for this purpose, uh, we're gonna go and just put viewer uh, button one. We're gonna add that. We're gonna just add a couple of these in here. So you kind of get the idea of uh, what it looks like. So we're gonna add three of these. We add them. Then obviously you know what all this stuff does. This is the text of the actual button. So over here on the left is the description. So you understand what the button is. Uh, the text in the control settings is what's actually on the button uh, that people will see. Uh, spark cost is zero. Tooltip, I always like to put tooltips in there just in case for whatever reason, the screen size uh, is, is different and the viewer doesn't uh, see the whole text. Um, they can at least mouse over and see what, what, what it is. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We come down here to two. So then we drag the buttons over as always. This, we're gonna make them kind of wide. Remember, this is gonna be your de default soundboard, the one that you want the viewers to see. Um, and remember, depending on how much text you have on the buttons, uh, depends on how wide you're gonna to have to make the buttons for people to be able to see them. So once you've got your main soundboard, the one that the viewers are gonna see, make sure you, you click save. That's it. So you've got your regular soundboard up, which you should have by now anyway. You're gonna come back over to the left onto new scenes and you're gonna create your mod soundboard. So uh, we're just gonna call it mod firebot uh, board and we're gonna add. So over here, this is specific to your moderators. So no one but your moderators will be able to see this. So I personally have informational type stuff on there. Uh, such as gamer tag. Add that there. I'm gonna put zero uh, gamer tag. Um, then you could have um, uh, let's say website. Website. Add. And then as a third button, um, let's do, I mean, you can make this whatever you want. So we, we can make it as uh, giving points, for example, uh, whatever you want. We're gonna make it, we'll make it button three. Button three, why not, why not? Okay, so once we got that on there and we filled out the rest of this stuff, um, we're gonna put all this stuff back on here make sure we resize it in a way that all the text is gonna show.
Okay. Now, you have your basic moderator board completed. What you also must do to be able to use uh, the ability to switch on and off your default viewer soundboard, you have to add two more buttons. So we are just going to call it board on. And we're going to create another one. Board off. And then remember to go back in. And change this stuff up. There's on. Board off. Like that. And again, you're going to place these buttons on the soundboard. Okay, so once you've got the buttons done, make sure you click save. I've learned through years of experience to click save after everything, after everything. So make sure you click save. Okay, so now you got that. That's the basics done. Uh, you need to add your disabled board. Okay, so we're just going to call it disabled. Right over here, you just, you can create as many buttons as you want. You can make this look as pretty as you want. Uh, we are just going to put... Uh, I'm going to put soundboard at disabled. Now remember, this is just telling me what it is. Over here is what it's going to say. Soundboard disabled, spot cost zero. Um, right now, that's it. I'm going to bring this over here. And because it's soundboard disabled, we're going to try and make this uh, kind of a big one. So it, it stands out. All right, click save. That's it. As far as the dev lab goes, you're done. Now what you need to do is come over to Firebot. So if we bring Firebot in here, let's open this up a bit for you. There we go. Okay. So from here, uh, you want to open up to Firebot. You're going to pick your board. If you already have a board, you should just be adding uh, the mod board and then the disabled board. Um, so you should already have a board, which is mine is already FPS. For this example, I'm gonna add a new board, put the code in there, and it adds the board. So you can see it pulls over the default, the mod board, and the disabled. So um, for the default, you would put in, you know, your regular uh, sounds, effects, you know, whatever it is that you, you are putting in for your regular soundboard. For your mod board, you're going to put in, you know, your, your regular stuff that you want for your mods. Um, so, you know, for, for this one, for example, so we, we're going to be putting this as text. So uh, gamer tag is that pie guy, for example. Um, I'm going to save that. Uh, if you put the website in there, you put, you, you know, your, your, your button in. Um, so this would be, again, output to text uh, to chat uh, as a streamer and I think it stands out as a streamer and we can put this one let's, let's whisper it why not let's, let's whisper it let's do uh, www.thatpieguy.com and we're going to send it just to the person that pushed the button right there okay uh, button three I mean put whatever you want now here's, here's the important part so when it comes to the board going off, okay, we're going to come down to effect. We're going to go to change scene. And then uh, we will be resetting scenes to default or changing them. Well, we're going to be changing them. So we click that. Which viewer groups should we change scenes for? We want the default, which is the viewers. And we're going to change the scene to the disabled board. So we save that. Now you got to remember to go to your board on and set this up as well. Otherwise you'll disable the board and you won't be able to switch it back on. The only way you'll, you'll be able to do it is to restart Firebot. So um, again, we're going to come in. What's the button going to do? It's going to change the scene. Um, now I'm, I'm, I like to be very specific. I don't like to rely on programs defaults if I'm able to do it in a, a such a specific way. So instead of just resetting the scenes back to normal, I'm going to go change the scenes 
I'm gonna change it for the default viewer group and I'm gonna change it to the default soundboard. So that way I know it's very specific that, that what this action actually does. Okay, so we're gonna save it again and that should be it. Okay, so if we bring up this, you can see that the soundboard is currently off. Let's bring this up a bit so you can see what's going on. All right, so if we remember, you have to turn chat on as well. For some of this stuff to work, you need chat on. So we're going to turn chat and interactive on. And here, as a viewer, as you can see it in the top right, I'm a viewer. Uh, that thigh guy. Um, we have viewer button one, viewer button two, and viewer button three. Now, if we switch over to my account, that pie guy, you're going to see it's still just the regular buttons. There's no like mod board. Now, why is that? You've set everything up in Firebot, right? You've created the board. Um, well, there's a catch to it. What you need to do is come up here to the group settings. So your default group will see the default board. Your mod group is currently set to none. So if we change that to moderators and then click save, your disabled board just set to none. You don't need anything with that. So if we now disconnect, and if, if you watch right here, this is still my account, as you can see top right. And then if we go ahead and reconnect, you see it right there? It changed from the viewers to the mod board, which is great. Okay, so now as a mod, you can push GT. Uh, you can push the website and it will push it out. Uh, and it whispered it to me. So moderators can change, can, can have them certain options. So as far as the board on and off, if we take a look at this. So we have two browsers here. This browser right here is, is my one, that Pi Guy, the streamer one. The one behind in the background is just a regular user one. Um, button one, two, three, there's a regular user. So as a moderator or as a streamer, if I now click the board off, it will change for the user and there's nothing they can do. Um, if we click board on, it will come back. That's it. It's that simple. It's really, really simple. Uh, the biggest mistakes people make um, or forget about is changing the uh, the groups. You have to change the mod group and set their board to the moderator board by default. If you don't, then they would just see the regular default uh, soundboard. So I hope that helped you guys. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And of course, come visit me on Mixer at mixer.com forward slash that pie guy every day of the week, apart from Sunday. So Monday through Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern. You guys have a fantastic night. Have a great day. And I will see you again very soon.